Hello everyone, and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials. Today, I'll guide you through the process of removing Flickr in Final Cut using Neat Video. Flickr can be two types. Frame Flickr, where the entire frame's brightness periodically changes, and Local Flickr, which affects only specific parts of the frame. An example of Local Flickr is rolling bands, which you might encounter more frequently than expected. First, let's focus on removing Local Flickr. Add Neat Video to the clip, select a frame, and click Option Window. Since this frame has plenty of details, I'll use the Generic Profile option. Don't forget to adjust the Generic Noise slider to find a balance between removing noise and preserving details. This should be good. Next, move to the Adjust and Preview tab. Here you'll find the Filter Settings Check tool. Click on it to access a step-by-step -step tuning guide. Start with Noise Level Check and ensure the blue mask covers almost all static objects. Now, proceed to Local Flicker Check. Here we have another mask and the gray spots you see are either moving objects or flicker. Click the Play All button to see the flicker in action. Adjust the slider until the mask covers all or almost all of the static objects. This is enough to beat this local flicker. If needed, adjust the repeated frames and spatial filter checks. Now let's compare the before and after. Looks good, doesn't it? The local flicker is gone. If you have adjusted the local flicker slider and the blue mask has covered all areas of the frame where there was no movement, but you still have flicker, most likely you have a frame flicker as well, and you need to adjust the frame flicker slider. Let's get back to the example from the beginning of this tutorial. Again, apply neat video to the clip. Select a frame for profiling and click Option Window. Build a noise profile. Don't forget to do the profile check to ensure that all of the noise is gone. This is looking good. Move to the Adjust and Preview tab. Go through the Noise Level Check and Local Flicker Check. The Noise Level Check looks good, so I'll leave it untouched and go straight to the Local Flicker Check. Play All. As you can see, there is a little bit of Local Flicker at the top, so I just need to adjust this slider slightly. This is good. Now increase the Frame Flicker slider. I'll go higher, all the way to the top, actually, as this flicker is super strong. In most cases, you won't have any flicker left by now, but not this time. We have found this example so we can demonstrate you what to do if you hit the same wall. From here, you need to create several variants of filtration. You'll see why in a second. Now, set temporal radius in variant number 1 to 3. Invariant number 2 should be 4, and invariant number 3, you want to have 5. Compare each variant to find the best radius for your clip. 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure if you can see it due to YouTube's compression. But for me, the winner is variant number 2 with a radius of 4. Now, let's see the before and after comparison for both local flicker and frame flicker cases. This is our first clip with local flicker before neat video, and now the same clip after neat video was applied. And this is the second clip before, after. All the flicker is gone. That's it guys, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.